want to talk about um, the shadow of jealousy and of feeling not enough. The subconscious shadow and how that shows up. Because it showed up for me again yesterday in a person that was um, criticizing just hold on here there is a car coming and I cannot pause the video this person felt like um, I did wrong in sharing my Ho'oponopono song um, the other day, you know, for someone that I hurt deeply. And uh, they said I should have just shared it with the person it was pertaining to. Anyways, uh, but I thought it was so beautiful. It was such a sacred heart expression that I wanted to share with, you know, other people. So anyways, what really became clear afterwards, because this person then began of, um, you know, questioning my sincerity and how I have made myself a teacher and feel like, you know, people need to follow uh, my, my guidance. And uh, what I sensed from that communication is a person with a shadow of jealousy. And that comes from the subconscious feeling of not being enough being unaccomplished, um, you know, not making a big enough imprint on this life, etc., etc. It became clear that it had nothing to do with me, um, that their accusations were coming from their own small shadow of smallness, right? And perhaps me... Um, expressing myself so largely and so publicly um, pushed against that core wound of not feeling enough you know in, in the in the subconscious self and so this person felt like they needed to diminish my light diminish my expression so theirs wouldn't look so small that is how the subconscious shadow of jealousy shows up, of envy. It comes in the form of criticism that what you are doing, you know, isn't right or is of the wrong motive. And uh, of course, this was pure projection because, um, again, I was in a sacred moment, uh, singing from my heart as I was feeling, you know, the pain of this person that I had caused the pain to. And uh, it, it really was a sacred expression. And this person just could only see through the lens of ugliness and just criticize it and, you know, diminish it. And uh, that, I'm just making this video to point out how the subconscious shadow of jealousy and envy and feeling not enough will show up in a projection. So, I, of course, am not here uh, with the intention to guide and teach you. I am just being a self-expression of my sovereign soul 
and I'm just being the light that I am. If you find guidance in what I say, I rejoice. But I am not trying to become um, a celebrity with a large following. Uh, never ever. I will always direct you back into your own heart, into yourself, because you are your greatest guru. You are your greatest teacher, right? So, anyways, that's just something I had to get off my chest, that it's not always you that is having a problem, but it's the person looking through their own eye, with their splinter in their own eye, trying to take the beam out of your eye when it's really a projection of their issues. They are issues of smallness, right? And your greatness uh, rubs them, irritates them, because they themselves are living in smallness. They have not stepped out in, into expansion, right? So anyways.